everyone in the Flutter community is talking about this new fork. It is called Flock and it is managed by the one and only Matt Carroll. He used to work at Google and was on the official Flutter team. So his fork of the Flutter framework is not just another random community fork, even though I think it is. Anyway, let's dive in. Before we get to that, it all started with this tweet. And I can say that this tweet broke a lot of people's minds yesterday. So if we click on this link, we go here. And he actually wrote this uh, blog post uh, detailing the reasons why he decided to fork Flutter and instead of work with the with the official Flutter, Flutter team. And I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy this section. And I don't mean that by enjoy as in happy enjoy. I mean as find it insightful because there are some hard hitting truths in this in this section. So I'm actually going to link this blog post and everything I'm about to mention in, in the description box. You can go, you know, take your time with it, read it, think about it, do not jump to conclusions. So yeah, let's uh, let's move on. So here is where he says, you know, introducing introducing flock. I, I don't know, I'm not I'm not really a fan of the name, you know. I've already seen the memes of uh flock flutter. And I think I'm going to use that in the thumbnail. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He just handed this one to us. It's, I'll take it. Anyway, what exactly is Flock? According to him and his definition, Flock is Flutter Plus. So from what I have seen, you know, uh, with all the, with everything that was going on on, uh, Fl on uh, Twitter, this is not a new framework. He's not trying to compete with Flutter. We don't do that here. This is not JavaScript. So this is basically, it is a community fork that has all the bug fixes and features that the community has been asking the, uh, the Flutter team for and that the Flutter team didn't either didn't want to merge, you know, merge or fix those bugs or they just didn't have the resources to do so. So this is why, again, I want you to go actually read the blog post, sit down with it, think about it. Do not jump to conclusions. Matt also has this video going over everything that I just mentioned and this nest that I think you sh you should go you should also go watch this video. I'm going to link it down below. With that out of the way, I am personally not optimistic about this or community forks in general. I have daily driven a Linux machine for a few years before I got this MacBook and I have seen what community forks are and how they evolve or devolve into a mess that you do not want to touch. I am not saying Flock is going to go down that route. I highly doubt it would. Matt and Jesse are very knowledgeable and they know what they're doing. So I do not think this project is going to devolve into the mess that we have seen, or at least that we know of from the Linux community. The reason community forks don't make it is if the original project doesn't want anything to do with a specific community fork, that fork is just dead right there and then. And I'm saying that because the original Flutter team is known to reject PRs for, for whatever reasons that they got. And I don't see them taking code from a community project into the official Flutter repo. I mean, they didn't want to do that when there was an actual PR on the, or on the official Flutter repo. What makes you think they're just going to do that for a different community fork that is maintained totally separately by a different team. I don't see it happening. This also brings up an issue that was mentioned by Alessio. I'm not gonna try to pronounce his last name. And it is basically keeping up to date, keeping two different projects in sync. To me, it sounds like a conflict, merge conflict hell that I don't see, I don't see how they're gonna work that one out. Again, the guys on the Flock team are very knowledgeable and I think they thought about this ahead of time, but I actually want to see it happen. Everything that I just mentioned is going to be linked down below in the description box. I want you to go read everything there by yourself, for yourself, think about it and come to your own conclusions. Anyway, that is all for today. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.